I want to show you how to create a concertina sketchbook using sketches that show everyday objects uh, that will be around you in the house. So here I'm going to use a range of skills from the continuous line drawing uh, to the blind drawing that we use and a range of materials as well. So here I've got some watercolours a brush, pencils, our box of pencils. I've got a white oil pastel as well that I'm going to be drawing with. So the first thing I'm going to do, I want to use this booklet both as a way to practice my drawing skills and just present a kind of version of the objects around me. Here obviously I am in school so some of the objects are not especially meaningful to me. They're just the things that are around school or around our classroom here. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to use my white pastel to do a blind drawing of my shoe. The shoe, again, I'm going to bring go back to that because it is an interesting model, you say. We've got all sorts of textures, shapes, we've got the laces as well. So here I'm going to start with a blind drawing of my shoe. So same as yesterday, you can't see what I'm drawing, but I'm following the outlines. I am also do a blind contour drawing of a pencil pot I've got here because we've got loads of detail and all the shapes of the pencil. So what I want to do is create a series of blind drawings all across the page. So we create, you'll see when we move on to the later stage, it's gonna create a range of texture on our drawing. Then I'm gonna move on. Here I'm gonna draw a pair of scissors on here. Here I might also draw one of the brushes. Here I think the last thing I want to do is a drawing of my hand. So I've got a full page of invisible drawing. Once I've done this, I decided to draw my pencil pot Okay, then I'm going to move on to draw some of the objects in front of me. So I'm going to have my paint palette here. Uh, I've got a water pot here as well that I'm going to draw um, and some more of the objects around me. I just want to put a little bit of shading on this pot. As you can see, they are just really quick drawings and sketches. I'm not going here, you know, as a 100% absolutely really accurate drawing. I'm trying to give a feeling for what's happening. So I'm going for something a little bit more loose, just quicker on here. So I want to just give a sense of atmosphere as well on those drawings. So here I'm doing my paint palette, just following the shapes, working uh, quite confidently directly in colored pencils if you don't feel confident enough to do that directly that's fine but if you've got a little bit of mistakes and just a bit of wonkiness that's going to give more charms to your drawings so at this point it doesn't really matter what i would like you to do so is to draw from life as much as possible rather than taking pictures of things and drawing from there so if you want to do a really quick pencil sketch and outline first to build your confidence that is fine as well and you can do that too and i'm going to change the scales of the items as well to make them fit so for instance here my water pot is bigger than the pencil pot in real life but i'm going to draw it slightly smaller than the pencil pot so it fits in what I want to be drawing uh, on here. Obviously, all the objects I've got here are related to art materials uh, because it's mostly what we can find in school. I'm going to go back and just put a tiny little bit of shadow over some of these. The light is going to come from this way. So just check where the light's coming in your setting. You can put your shadows in the right area really quickly to try to anchor those objects on there. So I'm going to do the scissors quite big. So here we're going to go back to the a little bit of the inspiration from Daniel Craig Martin that we were looking at, uh, where it changes the scale of his objects. Okay, you can complete your sketchbook over a period of quite a few days. So try to do, you know, five, 10 minutes every day. Uh, it's just a little drawing, even just don't be too uh, hung up about the results. Just keep drawing uh, until you've got a page full of these objects. So here I'm going back to my hand. In fact, I'm going to draw my drawing hand. I've changed my mind about what I wanted to do because it's what uh, I'm doing at the moment. So that could be quite an interesting uh, insight into some sort of kind of going back to that everyday life and what's around. I realize I've got the angle of the pencil wrong going this way. Uh, so I'm going to correct this. Uh, in fact, I'm going to correct this with a black pencil. 
so we can show a little bit more. So if you make a mistake, just find the creative way of correcting it. Or oh, here, because I've got two pencils, it could almost uh, look like a bit of, a, of an action picture. So I actually quite like this. I'm going to finish that other pencil on here. Um, it shows a little bit of the action uh, and create quite an interesting image. Uh, here, all that area is really quite dark. Uh, so I'm putting just a little bit of the tone on here. Uh, so just try when you're drawing to use a confident line. Um, if we look at two types of line on a scrap paper, generally an hesitant line is going to be something a little bit like that, and a confident line is going to be bolder um, and uh, just really quite nice and clear. Uh, a lighter line could be confident as well if you don't press as hard on your pen, uh, but just try to draw with confidence, even if the results are not yet uh, at the point where you want them to be. Here I've decided to go back onto some of my drawings. I think my color palette could do a little bit of shading in as well. Uh, and here you've got an extra line on here. And that really kind of a quite a dark line at the bottom. So here my two objects overlap, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm quite happy with that. Same here, I've done the bottle too wide initially, so I've got this line on there, but just correcting the line uh, without worrying too much uh, about the extra line on there. I think I'll uh, blend that into the final results uh, in a bit. Right, so now I'm trying to look at all my composition and see where I think I might be missing some things. So I think here I've got a couple of spaces potentially uh, where I could add and build something. Uh, so I think on the top one, I'm going to do the top of my tray and then maybe coming inside on here. Uh, so going back to my shoe on here, I'm uh, going to go to the top of my tray and uh, on there. Do I like it or that we can actually make out what it is on there? Uh, on that should have maybe do it a little bit more down so we can see a little bit more of the shoe. Uh, it doesn't matter at this point in time, I will leave it. Uh, it might be something that I come back to later. Uh, on the rest of here, I'm just going to draw this pencil on here uh, to just get a little bit of um, something happening in that corner. Okay, so I've got now a full sheet of drawings. Uh, what I'm going to do now with my sheet of drawings is create a watercolour wash in the background. Uh, so I've got my watercolours here, uh, my pot of water too, um, and I'm going to start spreading some colours on there. I want to limit myself to just a few colours. Uh, so here I've chosen red and I'm going to put a bit of grey, uh, blue as well, but I don't want to choose any more than two or three colours on here. So just try to maybe blend it along some of the objects. So I'm working really quickly, uh, trying to spread that color, uh, kind of wet on wet. You can see on some areas, uh, the wax showing be below on the wax resist drawings that we did uh, at the beginning. Uh, so these drawings are still in there, uh, underneath, just giving a little bit of texture and interest to your drawings. So here on that colour palette, I'm just trying to get some slightly more realistic colours on. Uh, kind of showing how it really is. i just bring it forward a little bit so you can see the palette on here as well. I've put some colour in. I think it looks quite good. So I'm changing slightly the direction that I had initially. On here, I'm adding a shadow just to create a little bit of contrast the edge of the hand and then blending same shadow really 
little bit of water stretching it out right here i'm coming back to finish uh, the end of this drawing uh, what i want to come back to um, I might actually add a little bit of detail and shading on some of the areas and then I want to add some lettering. So here I want just to go back with a quite sharpened uh, pencil and show uh, some of that detail on there. So just darken some of the areas and edges a little bit darker uh, to show a stronger line and maybe... I just want a little bit of shading in some places and kind of make some of the lines stand out a little bit more. As I started drawing, uh, so here I'm going to get some of my pencils. I just want to make some of these colours a little bit brighter. Uh, so I could do it with an extra layer of watercolour, uh, but I can do it here uh, just a little bit quicker and without to wait for things to dry. Uh, just with a pencil um, to get some of these uh, shades bright. So same the red of my tin of watercolour, uh, something I might want to put. I just want to get that contrast uh, slightly brighter on there. You can see the areas where I had my wax crayon. That was from my paint pot. And here we've got something else in the background. They have left a little bit of texture even so you can't see the drawings clearly. We've still got a little bit of interesting texture um, that's adding uh, a little bit to our drawing, okay? For now, I think I'm quite happy with that. So here, I've got a list of words related uh, to my uh, drawing. So here, the title of my piece is going to keep called My Word at the moment. So I'm just lettering my word on there. So here, I don't know if you can see on the video, but really faintly in pencil, I did the letters uh, before. So that's allowing me to put the letters in 3D really, really easily. So I had all sorts of thoughts about what's happening at the minute that I want to put on there. And I just want to organize my writing. My idea is my writing is going to flow around, around the objects on here. So I want to talk about teaching online. Maybe I want to write the names of some of these. So here I'm going to put watercolors. Some of the materials I've been using, I want to write down on. Okay, here we've got the pencils. Here I'm going to try to use a variety of fonts on there. So here I think it would be nice to have maybe something that links the narrative. So I'm putting a little arrow on. Right, I think I've more or less uh, finished my drawing. So now I've got a full uh, concertina sketchbook uh, with kind of drawing random objects about me, uh, 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 around me, um, and just reflecting quickly on some of the world around me. So I'm just trying to blend uh, the text on there. Uh, so you could present it flat, or oh, you know, kind of folded, and have uh, the whole. Thing, uh, showing at once so you might want to try uh, to do something like that with the skills that we've developed so far uh, in terms of drawing objects and try to recreate your own concertina books uh, showing uh, the objects around you um, and kind of you know reflecting on what's happening it could be your thoughts your worries whatever goes through your head uh, conversations you've had with friends uh, just try to um, you know follow your instinct and keep a um, with keep keep going with the flow and um, if you were doing an area on here and on your on your sketchbooks and you think oh, I really don't like that drawing or I think this is really not working uh, it might be that you want to use collage then rip a piece of paper and just try to cover this um, and build on that see where it takes you uh, don't start with too much of a preconceived idea of what you want it to look like yours might look completely and hopefully it does look completely different from mine uh, just uh, try to go from one idea to the other and see where it takes you okay um and uh, build it over a period of time obviously i've completed mine here in a period of a, what, a couple of hours or so um but you um 
just take your time with yours um, it might be that you do um, you know just five minutes a day um, and just spend five ten minutes on each piece um, once or twice a day uh, and go through it like that uh, so just all at once you can seem a little bit overwhelming but just do get started with one bit and then just add one bit to it and start building it from there okay thank you right i think i've more or less uh, finished my drawing so now i've got a full uh, concertina sketchbook uh, with kind of drawing random objects about me uh, 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 around me um, and just reflecting quickly on some of the world around me so I'm just trying to blend uh, the text on there uh, so you could present it flat or you know kind of folded and have uh, the whole thing uh, showing at once so you might want to try uh, to do something like that with the skins that we've developed so far uh, in terms of drawing objects and try to recreate your own concertina books uh, showing uh, the objects around you um, and kind of you know reflecting on what's happening it could be your thoughts your worries whatever goes through your head uh, conversations you've had with friends uh, just try to um, you know follow your instinct and keep a um, we've keep keep going with the flow and um, if you were doing an area on here and on your on your sketchbooks and you think oh, i really don't like that drawing or i think this is really not working uh, it might be that you want to use collage then rip a piece of paper and just try to cover this um, and build on that see where it takes you uh, don't start with too much of a preconceived idea of what you want it to look like yours might look completely and hopefully it does look completely different from mine uh, just uh, try to go from one idea to the other and see where it takes you okay um and uh, build it over a period of time obviously i've completed mine here in a period of a, what, a couple of hours or so um but you um just take your time with yours um, it might be that you do um, you know just five minutes a day um, and just spend five ten minutes on each piece um, once or twice a day uh, and go through it like that uh, so just all at once it can seem a little bit overwhelming but just do get started with one bit and then just add one bit to it and start building it from there okay thank you